Hey, today I'm going to be covering the top three requests I've had for troubleshooting MailChimp's new builder. They've made some additions to it, which are super cool, but also complicate things or, you know, it has its own little quirks. So I'm going to be walking you through those. Don't forget to sign up for my email list so we can stay in touch and let's dive right in. Are you having trouble pasting text into the MailChimp builder? Like it comes in with the font and background color of wherever it came from, but like isn't matching everything else? Don't go up here and mess with this stuff, okay? What you're going to do, actually this should be heading one, I want it to match that one. What you're going to do, again, I picked heading one, which is my default, still not matching. Down here, where it says restore default styles, the bottom left, there we go, it's gonna clear out any of the previous code and just go by the settings that I have set for this template. The other thing that I've noticed is when I paste in a link, even if I do default styles, this blue color that's here is not my default link color. And unfortunately, even doing the restore defaults doesn't fix that. This is what I've been doing. It's not ideal and hopefully it'll get fixed, is I will copy the link. I'm gonna remove it as a link and I'm gonna link it again. And then it goes to my default color, which is not a good default color. Ay ay ay. That works better. MailChimp upgraded their builder so that you can change the background color in four different ways in your email, which can get a little confusing. So let me walk you through them. The first one is the body color of your whole email here. That is under the styles tab. The background color is a color around the sides. That's really only visible on a desktop. And then the body color is throughout here. Right now it's set to white. If I changed it to a different color, the white would change. The next one is you can change the background color of a specific section. So this is my header section. And when I click on the side of it here, it will bring up different codes. So I could just have the outside be a different color. If you do transparent, then it goes back to the default of like the larger document. Or I can have just the headings here. Ah, okay. And so now it's made the background of these different, but what it's showing us, you notice not all of them changed. That's because if I go to this block, this image block here, I had already changed the background color of that block. So that is overriding. And if I wanted to go back to the default, I could go transparent. And the final one is if you have, I'm gonna, there we go, I'm gonna make columns here. Doesn't that look confusing? Okay, so with columns, we have the background color of the individual blocks. We have the, and we have the background color of the layout. So that is this whole section that the columns are in, and we can change the background of that entirely. So those are the four ways that you can change the default of your backgrounds, okay? Or individually change your backgrounds. The whole document, the section, the blocks, and the layout. Well, there we go. Those are the two most common questions that I get, but I'm sure you have more of them. If you are getting stuck on something in the new builder, it's not making sense, please leave your comments below. I can't wait to make more videos like this. Subscribe to my email list and I'll see you around.